Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an enormous haul for you. Now full disclosure, this was sent to me. It's a big box of beauty products from Primark. <laughs> I talk a decent amount about Primark and I do go out of my way to look at the beauty stuff on a regular basis. Some of the stuff that I have really enjoyed over the years I found from Primark, there's been some amazing setting sprays specifically. I'm using a dry shampoo at the moment that I'm really enjoying. You can find some really good stuff and especially like tools and accessories. This is not sponsored by the way, but it was sent to me um, just as a gift of things to try. And I thought because there was so much of it, you guys might actually be interested in seeing it like as one large amount of things. And if you would like specific reviews of anything that I show, you can let me know. But you obviously can count on me to tell you whether or not any of these things are absolutely fantastic because that is the point of the Friday fave so that I don't forget to um, pull things out and be like this, I'm really enjoying this. Right, number one, I actually have purchased these from Primark before, I really like them. For times like this, for example, I've just had my hair done, um, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I'm really, really enjoying it. For times where I've just had my hair done, um, or where I'm like doing my makeup and I've done my hair already, but I'm about to film a video. Is this specific to, to videos? Probably not, like when you're going out or something. I like to use these, because they're no mark clips. So they don't leave like little dents in your hair. So while you're doing something else, like I'll go downstairs and make myself a drink, or while I'm, um, maybe I'm charging my camera battery, just keeps my hair off my face. It's not kind of getting sweaty and greasy because again, that's an issue for me. And um, it keeps my hair just like nice while I'm doing my makeup or after I've done my makeup but before I'm actually ready to leave the house or to film. I've had these from Primark specifically before and I really have enjoyed them. Um, ooh, eyelash curler. If you know me at all, you will know I've only very recently embraced an eyelash curler and look at the colour of this one. Little known fact, purple is actually my favourite colour. How cute is that? Everything's like unicorn colours. So the funny thing of this is, I don't tend to use a lint roller, but my husband is obsessed with them. Um, I could do with using a lint roller and often when we're leaving the house, he says, do you want me to roll you? And I'm like, no, it's fine. And I can tell he's like, hmm, just let me. Just let me do it. So I'm just going to put those in his drawer for him. I'm excited about these. So this says um, face brush set. It would be £7. It's got a concealer, a buffing foundation br brush and an angled foundation brush. Now, I have seen these in store and I'll tell you what's put me off. You can't feel them. They're in the um, boxes, which is, you know, all well and, and good. But they're, for, for me, they should be testers. They should be out on the side. Now I realise people are terrible and if they did that, they'd probably destroy them. Um, but still, it really has put me off. So I am excited to give these, oh, give these a feel and let you know. They all had glue on them from inside the packaging. Oh, they're really, really soft. Okay, so they're really soft, but not very dense. The buffing foundation brush, if you look, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would buff with this. I would probably put like um, a cheek colour or something on maybe, but this is a little bit denser. The angled foundation brush is a little bit denser, but that, that other one, this is a little flexible to me. Uh, concealer brush, kind of the same. This would be more, I would use this for like powder or something because it's not got enough, it's not dense enough. Exfoliating gloves. These are £1.50. Um, I actually have these in both bathrooms because I cannot get enough scratchiness. You know I'm an itchy person um, and I prefer these to a brush just for the areas that I, oh I've got hair dye on my arm, just for the areas that I can actually get to. Oh my god. When I have um, acrylic nails on at the moment I've got gels. When I have on acrylic nails I also have a pair of these in um, my bedside drawer because I get so, so itchy. And this is exactly the right itch because when you've got acrylic nails, they're like thick. You can't get a good scratch. I'm going to do the other side because, you know, once you start, it's a problem. We're getting to some actual makeup in a second, but this fluffy stuff has to be seen. Um, headband, use, oh, use to hold hair away from face when washing or applying products to your face. I think I could have guessed what the use of a headband was. This is £2.50. I'm going to try this on. I literally never wear this. But it's cute. 
this, however, um, this is a gel eye mask. So I don't know if you can, yeah, you can get the gel thing out of the middle of it if you want to. So if you want to put them in like the fridge or freezer or something. But I think I'd probably put the whole thing in like a bag and put it in the fridge so that I didn't have to do that. I love a gel eye mask. I get so puffy. I love anything that would just like a little bit deep off, a little bit cool and refresh. Okay, look at this. This is two pounds and it is a glitter shower cap. I actually have started wearing a shower cap in the shower when I've done my hair because I've been doing my hair. It doesn't happen often, but when I've straightened it or curled it or done anything with it at all, I definitely want it to last as long as possible. Funnily enough, the shower cap that I have is equally as crazy looking and it is also from Primark. Um, right, I've got two of these. I always get a bit of a kick out of this. So one of them is just a facial stone roller. I, I use one of these often, if not every night, at least every other night. It's not possible that you've never seen one of these before. However, if you've not seen like the resurgence of people talking about them recently, there's a lot about facial massage online. You can watch whole tutorials on YouTube with or without these, with different ones. Look how cool this one is. I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but it's like iridescent. It's like kind of translucent and like a green blue pink dependent on the light that's absolutely fantastic anyway all kinds of massages that you can do for lymphatic drainage um and again if you are super puffy keep this in the fridge and it's fantastic for the morning time what i get a kick out of is the vibrating one because i'm like are people really using these for the for the reason that they are intended i think there's like an actor's wife who made a vibrating facial massager and you know i think it is Derek from Grey's Anatomy. What is his name in real life? I think it's his wife. I honestly can't remember his name. Anyway, I think she is like um, an esthetician or facialist, maybe even a makeup artist, I don't know. Um, and I'm sure she created some kind of vibrating facial, I was gonna say weapon, tool. It doesn't have any batteries. Um, but I do have another of these from a different place, uh, but it's like a T-bar on the end. I honestly don't know what the benefit is of the vibration with these, but they've jumped on a bandwagon and if this is something you were considering spending a lot of money on, this is nine pounds. We still have makeup to come, I promise. Um, facial cleansing gloves, this is a, uh, oh, used with water to help remove makeup. So is these those like microfiber ones? Three pounds 50 and these are, impossible to open oh there we go um the same kind of patterns as everything else weirdly they feel different they've got oh yes they totally are they're that kind of like velvety you know like the makeup eraser that kind of deal i was never into that because i had a makeup eraser that i used on my face and i swear to god it burnt my skin it, I, my entire surface layer of my skin was red. It really freaked me out, so I've never used one of those since. Um, however, I know that lots of people rate them and think they're fantastic. Right, we've got some face masks, which I'm definitely into. Ooh, a hair mask. Luna Queen, super hydrating hair mask for dull and dry hair. Ta-da, I'm actually really into this whole color scheme, truthfully. Um, and then there is clear and radiant amethyst sheet mask, again, Purple. Amethyst is actually my birthstone. If I was wearing my engagement and you would be able to see, there are some of the amethysts in there. I believe that is probably why, from being a child, purple was my favourite colour. I think it was, but this, this entire box appeals to me for that reason. Anyway, we've got the eye patches and the regular face hole situation um with amethyst and diamond powder from primark can you believe it uh, speaking of diamond they've also got this supernova shine shimmering shine spray three pounds for dull and dry hair and it's like um you know a shimmering shine spray i'm not gonna put it in my hair right now because it's literally just been done but again if you are interested in any of these specific products i can do kind of like a big test video um illuminating primer infused with vitamin e this i'm gonna swatch because really into this kind of thing at the moment. Just took a moment to open a load of packaging because there's a lot more, ooh, lots more to say. Interesting, look at that. That's like kind of pearly, isn't it? How pretty. I'm definitely gonna give that one a go. It's just kind of like a sheen. It's not too 
crazy. It's not highlighting at all. It is definitely an illuminating primer. Um, there's also this face and body gloss, which is five pounds. The color is golden. It says it's got vitamin E, sweet almond oil, and mango seed butter. This could be oh dangerous, dangerous. Oh, I thought it was going to be like full molten, like just liquid. Ooh. Oh man, doesn't this feel like the early 2000s? It's just that little bit there. Oh. oh man, when I started working at Urban Decay so many years ago, 12 years ago, more than that, um, it's around the time that they were getting rid of their like body sparkles and things like that. The real, that they were, they were the real times. They were the most fun makeup times in my mind. Um, and it was the beginning of like the naked palette era. So it was away with the really fun, colorful stuff and the nudes were starting to come back in. And I feel like we're kind of having a bit of a, everybody wants glitter and sparkle and, you know, I suppose 90s to early 2000s stuff back. Um, face and body gloss, I'm into that. How gorgeous would that be kind of just like, just here it would be. Um, I also really like the packaging of this makeup stuff. It's very Tom Fordy. This is, what color is this? Do you know, I don't even know. I don't know if, it just has like a color on the end. I don't think it's got a name, but it's a red. Ooh, holy moly. And it is a red. Okay, okay, okay. And then I've got the ultra pigmented long wearing eye palette, this is five pounds. I'll just swatch a couple of them for you. The names of these are great. Prosecco Silk Blushed Luxe Latte and Espresso. Oh, do you know what? This reminds me of like, I immediately I don't want to touch it. This, because we've been taken back in time. Um, I want to immediately photograph this and put it on my blog and then swatch it. I used to buy new things and put them in a pile and I wasn't able to even wear them, swatch them, play with them myself until I'd taken a photo of them for my blog. I miss it and I also don't. They're not like highly pigmented, but I'll let you know how I actually get on with them on my eyes. Uh, speaking of, I've also got a lash enhancing mascara. This is £3.50. Ooh, that is a beautiful tube. Okay. I'm not writing it off immediately. An enormous bronzer. Ooh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. That is, what colour is this? I don't know if it is a colour, you know. I think it's just a bronzer. It's just, what colour is it? It's bronzer colour. Oh, that's not got a tremendous amount of punch. I also got some nail polishes, which again, these go perfectly. Um, I feel like the chrome, maybe this is part of the collection and this feels like maybe this, they've always done this one and they've just thrown it in because it kind of goes. Um, this one is, have they got colors? Oh, Blue Moon and Barely There. That's what these are. When I first looked through this box and it arrived yesterday, uh, my daughter was looking through stuff and she was like, Ooh, yes, I know. That's the stuff I used to be torn to as well. Torn to, drawn to. Um, a little set of tweezers. Tweezers are always useful. Um, I particularly like the ones with the really, really blunt edge. Um, and two perfumes. These are the last things. You know what? These are glass bottles. These are glass bottles, perfumes. Um, amethyst and amber. I like them, actually. Decide which one of these I want to keep before before my daughter comes in and steals them all. I don't know, you know. I like them both. They're very Victoria's Secret. -y. Amber has more of a kind of um, summer, sunshiny, almost sun cream scent. That was everything in the box. That was everything in the box. So much stuff in the box. Um, hopefully this was interesting for those of you who maybe have looked at some of that stuff or wanted to know what's available right now, particularly these brushes. I think they're nice. They're really, really soft. Really, really soft. But I would say if I'd picked these up um, based on the names, I think I would have been a little bit disappointed because they're not as dense as they look like they're gonna be. Um, I would like to try some more brushes from Primark though, especially like eye brushes. I think 
they're a really nice quality. They're just not exactly the shape that I would want. Um, but that's made me want to try more of those. And there's a couple of the makeup bits that I'm really excited to try, but let me know what you would like to see me review, if anything. Um, and also, what is the best thing, beauty-wise, that you found in Primark? I think, I think it's got to be, for me, the mattifying setting spray. They do a new one now that I like, but not as much as the old one. Um, but there have been some real gems from Primark over the years that I found. It's a really nice um, foundation powder that my friend turned me on to, and I like that. Um, and they've done some really gorgeous like lip crayons and things over the years. What has been your like standout Primark Beauty thing? Let me know. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I will be back on Friday with a faves. Um, and don't forget to check out my vlog channel where I talk about all kinds of nonsense and mostly just complain about being tired. And um, yeah, if you wanted to see more of me, usually makeup free, um, hanging around my house, you can do that there. Uh, I will see you guys in my next video, wherever that might be. Bye.